Welcome to Panasonic Live at IBC 2017. We're out putting on YouTube, on Facebook, and all the latest news and the links to those channels is on our website, which is business.panasonic.eu. Day two of five live on the Panasonic booth, where we're joined by guests from inside Panasonic and some of our key partners and customers too this year. Uh, one of those key partners is Atomos, who uh, Panasonic has collaborated with with a number of our production cameras. Lewis Brown from Atomos is here. Uh, for those who don't know Lewis, uh, tell us how uh, Panasonic and Atomos also combining on, on the Vericam LT. Hi, thanks for having me here today. I've got a bit of a terrible voice, so excuse me on there. That's okay. But we've been working really closely with Panasonic on really bringing um, affordable, high-quality 4K production on the Vericam LT. So it's an amazing camera that provides us a really crisp, high-end image, and it's naturally high dynamic range and uh, 4K is native sensor. So we're working to take that best input out of the uh, camera and record that into ProRes in the highest quality that we can. And... Uh, providing both affordable recording media at the highest quality possible and also HDR monitoring. So one of the key aspects of that is we can make the best of the Vericam color science and really show the true beauty of that sensor. So what's the big advantage for users using the Shogun alongside the Vericam? So on the Vericam LT, it allows you to get um, really high-end bit rates uh, out of it, so up to a 12-bit recording into Cinema DNG and higher frame rates. So they're one of the key aspects of creating better pixels. So increased resolution, increased bit depth, increased frame rate, all help to make much better pictures for creatives. And our added advantage on there is we're providing a monitor and also a recorder, so you can get cost-effective high-end um, recordings for much less uh, than other recording mediums. So if you've got a lower-end budget, you know, you can really still get maximum Hollywood quality sure. out of that camera. What, what trends are you seeing in the market right now? Trends, so, uh, you know, there's a lot of big push from the, the players like Netflix and Amazon, and they're wanting true 4K deliverables. Yep. You know, so you've got to have a sensor on your camera that can do that, and also high dynamic range. As I touched on earlier, this camera is naturally high dynamic range. It's got, you know, plus 14 stops, and combined with our monitor, we can show you that live. So you, the real demand uh, in production is coming from uh, 4K HDR. Um, and we're actually starting to see integration between Atomos and some of our remote cameras as well. Yeah, so we've been working uh, providing uh, 4K 30p recording on PTZs. So one of those great aspects of using 4K on a PTZ is you've got an increased amount of pixels that you can then, within a live environment or within post, take some region of interest out of that. So. Uh, we've been collaborating uh, with Panasonic in that, and we're showing uh, two uh, UE70s mounted on the top of our stand, so okay. we could actually shoot, uh, film your stand from our stand, which is just next door. Exactly. Maybe we can do that as part of, as part of this production. Maybe we'll get, we'll get some shots of the, the, the Atomos stand. What, what are you announcing this year, Lewis? So announcing uh, uh, updates actually for Vericam. So uh, our firmware for Shogun Inferno uh, 8.4 that's coming out is going to give 2K at 240 frames per second and 12-bit RAW to Cinema DNG at 4K30. So as I say, that's providing super high quality of the best that camera can output at a really affordable medium. And we've also got a new monitor called uh, Sumo M at yep. 19M. We're using one here. There you are there. It's working yep. well for you. So it we is. just announced that at the show, and that's a 19-inch, uh, 1200-nit HDR display. So again, they work perfectly with the Vericam range and the Panasonic cameras. And we've got the color profiles built in for that. So it's very simple and native to use. We've also got a range of converters. So what that'll allow you to do is if you've got legacy equipment, so be it component, composite, HD, or SD, you can actually convert that and uh, move from interlaced to progressive. So we're actually using that on the UE70 as well, because we're taking uh, a higher frame rate interlaced out and we're converting it to progressive. Lewis, thank you very much for joining us on Panasonic Live at IBC. So that's the collaboration with Atomos. Uh, join us uh, later on in the show where we'll be running through our brand new switcher technology. Fantastic. Thanks for having me. Thank you.